Hi everyone, Happy New Year. So today I'm going to show you an automatic recurring task of creating for the whole week. So one of the features of the latest feature by Notion is that they introduce recurring task rate. Right? So, but then one of the downside is that when we try to create a new task, so let's say like task one, the downside is that you cannot actually select the dates. So for example, I want the task to be scheduled in once for Monday to Sunday. So I can select like five, six, seven, but that's not possible because it doesn't support the dynamic dates for now. However, it does support like, for example, add today. So when you type add today, right, you can just select the dates when it's being duplicated. So this idea is that every time you schedule, let's say, for example, I schedule on Monday. So when it's created, then you put Monday as a date, Tuesday, you put Tuesday as a date. But then there's inconsistency when it comes to, let's say, for example, tomorrow. Actually, it doesn't show tomorrow as the duplicated date. So this is actually not a very reliable way to do it. So another alternative I found is that by creating like a few formulas just to reference it, you can actually schedule tasks for the whole week in advance, like the view that you're seeing now. So yeah, I'll show you how you can do it. So for now, you can see there's a dashboard here. So let me just go to one of them to show you what it means for all of them. So an idea for how it works is actually I wouldn't say it's too simple, but let me just walk you through one by one. So just so that it makes more sense to you. So first we have date here. So this will be like a backup date. So normally we just leave this empty unless you want to schedule manual tasks or habit tracking that you need. And then there's create a date. So this will be very important as it will track the dates that we actually schedule the task. So for example, we schedule the task recurring on every Monday, right? We will schedule for example, in our case, we have reading and exercise. So on Monday, we'll schedule all the tasks for the whole week. But in that case, when it's being created on Monday, so it will show the date as created date. So this is something that we need. And then here we have something called days to be added. So this is where the kind of magic it happens. So in this case, in the bottom here, we have an actual date. So this is where we want to capture the dates that we want to schedule it. Or we want it to be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, but how does Notion know? So this is where it comes uh, in the form of days to be added. So in this case, like zero, right? Zero means there's a formula here. So date add, uh, date add. So the idea of date add is that every time you create a new, uh, you have a new dates, right? You can actually add a date on that. Let me just show you. So date add. So here, and then you can select the date that wants, needs to be added and the number. So the number basically means the days to be added here. And then text. So you say like a days, weeks, months. So in our case, it would be uh, days. So I'll, I'll refer back to the formula that we have. So basically, it's a little bit more complex to have to do a little bit of filtering choices between dates or the created date. But the logic still stands there. So for the date add, you either add uh, we either reference between dates or create a date and then days to be added and then days So the result is that if it's zero it means it'll be actual dates if it's one Actually become uh, generated which is Tuesday to two can become Wednesday. You can see it's actually moving around So yeah, so this would be zero And then you can see there's a few formula at the bottom here so this is just to check whether the dates that we schedule is within this week and then what day it is. Is it Monday, Tuesday, Friday, so on and so forth. So now, when it comes to the scheduling part, so the idea is, is pretty straightforward. You can see I have like, let me just remove this. I don't think this is needed. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, until seven, right? So the idea is that we have for each of the activities that we want to track, Let's say, assuming that you do it every day, right? So you have seven of these templates here. So each of these represent one number. So days to be added, so this will be zero. Means that every Monday, we we'll schedule, and then this will be zero. Means this actually goes to Monday. And then we have the next one. So this should be one. So basically, this represents Tuesday. And then you can see for the recurring setting, right? So here, 
repeat. So repeat every Monday on 12. So when it's first scheduled, it will reschedule on the actual dates and then it will just uh, automatically populate all your tasks for that whole week. So you can have like this overview of all your tasks and then you can just click check, check, check and then you can kind of see how many tasks you have completed. So it is as simple as that. And then maybe you have one question it's like, so how do I make sure all these tasks just disappear and go away after next week, right? So that's why I have this filter to check is this week. So basically you actually just check whether the task is belongs to this week. So how does it work is that? Simply I have this formula called uh, actual date. And then let me just write it down so that it makes more sense to you. So you have this property uh, function called format date. And then we reference the actual dates in this case. So prop actual date, right? So what we want to get out from this is we want to check what week it is. So in this case, you just type ww, it becomes 01. So this is how you check the actual week. So let's say if it's next week, right? It becomes 02. Like that's this last week, right? It'll be 52 because it's the end of the year. And then we want to compare it with today. So there's another formula called today. So format date now and then simply we put uh, week week and then you can see it's showing zero one means that today is actually week one so now we want to write the formula just equals paste the one that we wrote earlier and you can see there's a check mark here so the idea is that so this is the actual week for it so let's say if it's next week right so this is another way like so it's nine. So is this the week this week? So it's not. So I've provided an alternative. So by in default, you don't need to select this date. But let's say like suddenly you want to create a new activity for uh let's say for next week, right? For example. But then maybe the created date is like it's already over. Or maybe the dates to be added doesn't quite make sense. So in this case, you can actually just select um, the dates that you want to be. And then automatically we just uh, updates here. So in this case, like we just select nine, right? And then you can see like automatically become January ten. But then if I remove this, and then we just go back to usual. So yeah, it's a bit lengthy on it, it's explanations. But how you basically want to do this is just schedule the task that you need for every week, and then just go through one zero one two three until six. And then automatically every week you will just automatically schedule the task that you need to be done. And then all you need to do is you just need to go through this view and then just check, check, check. That's it. You don't have to care about what's underlying there. So yeah, if you like what you're looking, if you like what you're seeing, so please follow and subscribe. I've post regularly on Twitter, in Reddit, and then I'm hoping to be more consistent on uh, YouTube. And also be providing uh, this template for free. So you'll be in the description down in the link below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.